I'm Nicole Bradley. I was co-captain of the Australian Invictus team in 2018 when we competed in Sydney. I joined the Australian Army in 1993. I did my training through the Australian Defence Force Academy where I completed an arts degree. I then graduated from the Royal Military College Duntroon into the Royal Australian Electrical Mechanical Engineers. The highlights of my career were deploying to East Timor in the year 2000, being a troop commander of the workshops at 17 Construction Squadron, and then in 2005, deploying to the United Nations Truce Supervision Organisation, where I worked in Southern Lebanon and the Golan Heights. I separated in 2015, um, and I competed at my games as a veteran. So I competed in powerlifting at the Invictus Games. Uh, I chose powerlifting because I was already training along those lines and had started to compete in powerlifting in a normal competition. At Invictus, the powerlifting is a power bench, so your legs are up when you do your bench press, and it requires a whole new set of skills to be able to hold that position and hold the weight and do all the things you need to do to lift it. So for me, it was a natural extension of what I was already doing. But I was also, um, I also competed in the athletics throwing events, so discus and shot put. And for me, I actually wanted to do something that was completely out of my wheelhouse. I'd never done either of them. Um, and so I had pretty conservative goals competing in athletics in that I wanted to spin when I shoot it through the discus and to get over 20 metres. Um, and I was very proud to do that, um, even though it was nothing fantastic on the international stage. Man, that's a tough question to choose a best moment. There were so many, um, but a really special treasured moment for me was in the discus final of the athletics. There were five um, of the Australian women who got through to the final. And on the final throw, Bridget Baker threw this extraordinary throw that achieved the best that she wanted to. It got her the gold medal. Um, and the hug that I was able to get from her afterwards was one of the best hugs of my life, I think. It was just such a proud moment. Um, but to top it off, when she got her medal presented, David Beckham rolled out. And to see the smile on her and Vanessa's face when uh, David Beckham was there was um, just hilarious. And I will treasure that forever. The impact on my health and well-being of the Invictus Games was really profound and long-lasting. Um, the biggest impact really was that connection with an Invictus family and by that an extension of people that I had either worked with before or other veterans that contacted me afterwards about how um, impactful the Games were on them. For me it was also um, the first time that I'd felt seen for a really long time and I'm not sure why that was the case but getting selected in the team and then being selected as co-captain as well, it was amazing to feel like um, my service was valid and that as a person I was doing a good job to be seen like that. So that was extraordinary. So my self-belief really improved. Um, I felt seen and you know after the Invictus Games in 2019 I marched in my very first big city Anzac Day Parade because I felt like I belonged there um, and I didn't realise how much I didn't feel like I belonged before that. So overall less isolation for me, um, greater connection, meeting this Invictus family and I count some of those people that were part of the Invictus 2018 team to be my very best friends and probably more family than friends. Since my involvement with Invictus, I've continued to keep training with the weights predominantly. Um, I still compete in powerlifting and I train a couple of days a week with a personal trainer and a couple of other people that are like under 30 years old. For me that's a really unique community that I would not have been involved in if I hadn't have started this style of training. 
And then when I do get to go to compete, it's this extended, supportive, loving family that just wants to see you do your best, which is just so wonderful to be a part of. I'm also involved in our local hockey club. I'm coaching my daughter's hockey team. Um, they are in their mid-teens now. And my goal there is to really to help those girls to be engaged and understand it's okay not to be the best of it. The whole point is about being involved. Um, and I feel the same way that it extends to our veteran community and that being involved in community sport is a really great way for us to become part of a community that sometimes we may have felt isolated from. Um, I'm looking to get back into hockey. I haven't played for a very long time, but I'm interested to see how the body holds up. And the thing that I find um, really valuable from my Victus experience is that I probably wouldn't have thought to go back if it hadn't have been for my engagement in the games. What I've noticed is that we can often um, be reluctant to go and try something new or to go and do something at all in case we look stupid or that we might be too old. And what Invictus has taught me is that, you know, you can have a crack at anything and you don't have to be the best at it because, you know, getting out there is when you're winning. Um, and I'd really love for that message to become a really strong one from anyone's Invictus engagement and for us to spread that to the rest of the community as well.